getting these are two 60 watt pumps to obtain 120 watt. This uh, high volume, low pressure pump over here pulling uh, uh, 450 watts, okay, compared to 120 watts. And uh, it filled up a five gallon bucket in, um, in 15 seconds. And so now we're going to try this one. We're going to shut her down. We're going to bring it up to 2 PSI. There we go. You ready for this? Oh, hold it, hold it. You're going to get a good time here. Ready, set, go. That's five seconds. Ten seconds. Under 12 seconds. I'm getting more water pumped out of this drum with my two quiet pumps than I am with the HV pump. So this will be going home, going back. Doesn't even perform. So bring in. So it, uh, the, these two little pumps are by far putting out more. If you put out about five gallons in 12 seconds, that's 25 gallons a minute. 25 gallons a minute for 60 minutes. Uh, who can do the math for that? Well, if it was 20 gallons times 60, that'd be 1,200. So you're over 1,200 gallons per hour there. So 25 times 60, do the math. Okie dokie. Well, that's about it for me. Anyway, we're having fun. We're experimenting. Uh, we brought in, uh, this is a second high volume, low pressure pump. We really thought this claim to put out 42 cubic feet of air a minute is obviously BS because I'm getting no more air out, uh, no more water out than what I did without it. Now, as the tank gets lower, notice the pressure goes up to about two and a half, but then it shall break here in just a minute and she'll recycle. So we're coming up to the recycle point. By the way, two PSI swells the tank up. You see, I have a few air leaks there. See the bubbles over there? So this is just slapped together for a quick test. Boom, there you go. That was the air break. Nothing's glued together. There, she'll recycle now. Guess I should have tapped that down. Ha, ha, ha. Well, that's just the pipe here. To let her breathe out. So maybe I'll put a set screw in that one. So she didn't pop. Now, this one-way check valve is going to let the air out. She'll fill back up. And when she gets full, she'll automatically start all over again. I get a rubber mallet out here. Let's see if we got a rubber mallet. Hey, my daddy used to say... If a bigger hammer isn't the solution, what you've got is an electrical problem. We'll tap those together, tap those together. Here we go. That should do her just fine now. And now, as it, see, it comes up, as she comes up, she'll close, and then she'll start pumping again. And that, folks, if you can do five gallons in under 12 seconds, let me get this done. So ready on your mark. Let me look at the timer. There it goes. 20 seconds. Five seconds. Ten seconds there. Eleven. Twelve. Okay. So twelve seconds. So you're doing just fine. And, uh, you got no electrical out here. This is the weighted valve underneath inside. When this gets down and when it burps the air one time, then the weight will let it drop down and then she'll cycle and then she'll go again. And uh, you see how fast she's going. Um, I started the video there, we're at four minutes right now for a cycle, 55 gallons of a cycle. Let's say if it was five minutes, that'd be 10 gallons a minute, okay? And when you get down to the bottom, it's the bottom of this pipe inside. I'm going to put my hand on here, hold it this time, and you're going to see the air burst. Yeah. She goes steady right to the end. There's no reduction virtually in flow. Uh, even on a small pump, it's only like three seconds longer to fill up a five gallon bucket at the end than it was at the very beginning. So we average out about 12. Now, see, she'll burp out like that. You hear that sound? And then the valve opened up and the air goes out. And now the one-way check valve over here will let the water from the tank fill back in. So that's how it works. The water in the tank here is just gravity flowing. That check valve 
it will seal as soon as that valve over there closes. And that valve will close when the float comes up. It's tied to a string and a little spring, and it'll close the valve, and then she'll run again. That's it. Miracle times in Ridgemont High. Good fun all the way around. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. I had high hopes for the high volume, low pressure pump. It's a $300 pump. Um, it just doesn't, they do not put out what they claim to do. They claim 42 cubic feet a minute through a three quarter inch hose, and that's just a lie. Oh, here we go. Recycled. And now she'll start pumping again. So you see that? It's like only a minute and 20 seconds to cycle from one to the next. That's it. Anyway, I think that's just cooler and bucks not.